What's going on guys? This is going to be a really fun fight in the lightweight division at UFC Fight Night 98 in Mexico City, Mexico on November 5th, 2016. This is my prediction video with the preview and some other information and whatnot. So it is Benal De Rouge ranked number 9 versus Rashid Nurmagomedov in rank number 15th and this is going to be really fun these two guys are both explosive there's only three losses between them Rashid is 19 and 1 from Russia in his MMA pro career in combat sports but now that Rouge from Iran is 13 and 2 in his MMA pro career in combat sports now let's get to the prediction and then we'll get in some information and whatnot I think a lot of people are going to be surprised with my pick I at one point was going with Rashid Nurmagomedov to win this one by a KO TKO in the second round but I gave it a lot of thought uh, and I was back and forth and then I ended up deciding to go with but now that Rouge by submission in the second round I know they're both really amazing on the ground and stand up I believe though that but now that Rouge is going to get the better of Rashid Nurmagomedov on the ground um, Mag Omidov uh, so anyways the Highlander Rashid, he's got eight wins by KO, TKO, one by submission, ten by decision. He goes a lot to the judges. He's lost one time, and that one time was by a decision, and he's never been submitted, never been KO'd or TKO'd, and I believe that will happen at UFC Fight Night 98 on November 5th, 2016, and he is on a 12-fight win streak right now. I don't believe he's going to win his 13th. Maybe he will, but I don't see him getting past Benal Darush. The last time that uh, Rashid Highlander lost was uh, against Magomo Magomedraskol Kashbulovuk. Or some, I don't know, man. That name's crazy. And when he lost, it was a split decision. So one judge gave it to him, two gave it to the other guy. He could have maybe never lost and be 20 and 0. But he isn't. So, and then after that fight, he won by KO in the first round. Decision TKO first round. A rear naked chokehold. TKO Dr. Stoppage. And he's had a bunch of unanimous decision wins after that. And then in the UFC, he's got three wins by unanimous decision. One TKO victory in the third round. His last fight was against Gilbert Burns by, in the UFC fight night 77. And that was quite the fight you know I was really going for Burns there because I really like him but I really feel that um, but now that Roosh is going to win this one Dai Roosh is um, where the fuck is he um, you know he's got 13 wins and he's got three by KO TKO six by submission four by decision and I feel that with the amount of submissions he's won that he's won with by, that he's going to win by submission again. I don't think that Rashid is going to get knocked out or TKO lost because of how tough he is, how much of, how many, you know, he just has a hell of a chin. Now, but now the Roosh has never, lo never lost to a decision. He's lost once by KO, TKO, and once by submission. And he lost to Michael Chessy by submission where a naked chokehold at UFC on Fox 19. And the other time he lost was by... Ramsey and Najim at UFC Fight Night 39 by TKO. Before, but after that, he bounced back and he won't beat Tony Martin by a submission uh, arm triangle, unanimous decision, rear naked choke, decision, split decision over Michael Johnson, and then his last fight, the UFC uh, 199, he beat James Vick. The executioner, if I remember his name, nickname correctly, again by KO in the first round. So it is possible he could knock out Rashid Nurmagomedov in the first round or second round, but I think it's going to be a submission victory uh, where he probably chokes him out with uh, some sort of a rear naked chokehold or a guillotine choke, something. He uh, Rashid is going to leave his neck hanging out there, and I believe by now that Rush is going to take it. Now let me know down in the comment section if you agree with me or disagree with me. Do you think Benal Rush will win by submission, or do you think he'll win in another fashion? Let me know down in the comment section. If you believe Rashid, the Highlander Murnamagomedov, is going to win, let me know down in the comment section how you think he's going to win and why you think he's going to win. 
Let me know down in the comment section if you liked the video or you hated it. If you liked the video and you think it's awesome and you like it that I'm picking Ben Alderouche, hit the like button. If, uh, you know, you haven't subscribed yet, be amazing and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.